Hey guys, Chris Root here, host of Into the Hustle, where we talk strategy, business, real estate investment, entrepreneurship, personal development. Today I want to talk to you about you know when you should double close versus assign a contract when you're wholesaling a property. So this is a question I get a lot from students. So, you know, when you're working a deal, right, you gotta be careful because some deals you may make a lot of money on, right? And look, let's face it, some people are really, really funny about you know, money, right? They, they uh, if they think you're making too much money on them, even though it's a smoking hot deal for them, and they agreed to it, and they, you know, they signed the contract, they, they may not feel happy that you're, uh, you're making forty five thousand dollars on them, or fifty, or whatever, maybe even twenty. So you got to be careful. You kind of have to use your own judgment. So what I do is, if I know, you kind of got to know your cash buyers. You got to know who you're dealing with. If I know I have a deal that I'm making, you know, twenty k plus. And my and I know my in buyer, my cash buyer pretty well, and he's a pretty cool guy, and I you know, and I know he's not he's gonna be okay with me making that kind of money. I'll just you know I'll just assign it because what's gonna happen if I assign the contract? He's gonna see it, he's gonna see what I'm making. But if um, you know, if I'm making a lot of money and I've got a funny you know kind of a weird investor that I'm dealing with, I never dealt with him before, and I'm making a lot of money, the best thing to do is if you possibly can is to double close on it, right? And that's where you close the property yourself with funds and you, you get on title and you own it and then you turn around and sell it, you know, to them. So, and some people say, well, Chris, you know, I don't have, say, you know, 80 to 100 grand to go and close on a property. I understand. That's okay. There's a thing called transactional funding, which, you know, I do for a lot of other clients here locally in the Louisiana market that I know that I trust where I'll fund their deal. And there's a lot of other guys just like me that'll go in. You just gotta find people that have a little bit of cash or have a line of credit who wanna make money on their money. And what you do is you network with them and you say, look, I got a deal. If you can fund my deal, that way I can close on it. Then I'll turn around and close on it, you know, within an hour or two, maybe even the next day. You know, I'll throw you a thousand bucks. You know, who, what investor wouldn't put up, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 grand in one day to make a thousand bucks, you know, or, or whatever you negotiate. It could be more, it could be less, whatever you negotiate with that transactional funder. So that's what you need to know when you're trying to do a double close if you don't have cash. Now, if you're only making 2,500, five grand, 10 grand, I mean, obviously your, your in buyer, your cash buyer knows you're making money. You know, it's better just to assign the contract at the table and just be totally upfront. And, um, and that way you're not, you know, bouncing around and, and, and feeling uncomfortable. Just maybe tell them up front, hey, look, you know, here's the assignment. I got it for 20. I'm assigning it to you for, you know, 30. Well, actually, you're going to tell them, hey, would you buy this property for 30? And if he tells you, yeah, then write up the contract. Don't even tell me. Write up the contract showing that you got it for 20 and the assignment is 10 and say, here, sign this. If he agreed to 30, then he shouldn't have a problem, you know, with uh, knowing what you paid for it. I hope that makes sense. So, Assignment versus double close. The double close, if you make a lot of money, absolutely. Just go figure out a way, actually your rich grandfather or if you have a rich uncle, whatever. If, if you don't, find somebody that's got money who would want to invest in you um, to make a quick buck on their money. It's a good deal for them and um, you get to basically you know, take title, close on it, and then turn around and close on it the next day or an hour or two. So that's a quick tip for you know double close versus an assignment and the way I do it, you know, so if, if, if you have a better way of doing it, then, then that, uh, please share and, uh, and post in the comments because I don't know of a better way to do it than that. The key is, guys, the key is to know your cash buyers. If you know your cash buyers, I mean, if I know every one of the guys that buys, I know their demeanor, I know their personality, I know how they are. Some of them are very weird, some of them are very cool. You know, some of them don't give a crap how much money. If I was making a hundred grand on the deal, they really don't care as long as it's a good deal for them. They don't care, you know, and they've agreed to it. But you just have to know in your mind and kind of gauge, you know, who's who on your cash buyers list. All right, guys, hope this makes sense. That's all I have for you today. You know, tune in next time for Into the Hustle. And uh, please make comments, like, and share. And uh, appreciate it, guys. Thanks.